Hey there, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare the Giro versus Trading 212. First of all, I don't get paid by any of these platforms, so I'm just going to give you objective review what I think about it. First, I will talk about the fees, then account opening, markets and products, customer service, design and education. So let's start. First, fees. So, Trading 212 got free stocks and ETF. So if I would be someone who would like, like to invest on monthly basis to some stocks and buy them and also buy some ETF, I would go with trading in 212. Why? Only because on the Giro, you're going to pay the fee. Let me show you. When you go to fees, you can see it right here. The Giro stock and ETF commission of $2,000 trade. US stock, UK stock, German stock. You can see it right here that you're going to pay actually fee. Now, but... The Giro, comparing to trading 212, is much secured and much safer. If the Giro would go bust, you would get 20, up to $20,000, 20, €20,000. So that's really good. Now, the second thing, account opening is simple on both of these platforms and it's really easy. And also on both of these platforms, you don't have any inactivity fee or withdrawal fee. So you can withdraw as much money as you want and you wouldn't pay any commission or anything. So let me also show you about uh, buying those stocks and everything on trading 212 that it's really that you're gonna don't gonna pay any fee at all. So I see that ETF here one guard. What I recommend is when you're from the Europe, I recommend uh, like add Europe Euro to your trading 212 and buy European ETF only because you're going to save money on conversion fee and also on taxes. That's just my, my recommendation. When I'm going to click buy and like, I don't know, look at this two euro of one, it's like whatever, review order, you're going to sit here. Okay, so number of units 0 0.027 cost two euro and commission free and I can just easily buy it. So this is really good in my opinion. Now let's go further. Deposit and withdrawal on both of these platforms, uh, you have free withdrawal and I'm not going to talk about that too much. When I'm going to about web trading platform, like the trading trend 12 and also the Giro are just fine. You can play around with the chart, see how the price is doing and for day trading, it's good in my opinion, both of these platforms. Now, mobile platform on both of these are also simple and really easy to invest to but honestly i like trading 212 more open the accounts on both of these platforms and test it by yourself which one you actually like right let's go further then we're gonna see markets and products the Giro has many more products comparing to trading in 212 you get also options so if you if you want to invest to options go through the Giro or go through interactive brokers but i would go with the Giro by myself you can also compare the fees here if i can find it fund commissions yeah, options re here that you got like comparing to trade station global it's much better so again if you want to invest to options or bonds or even funds i would go through the gyro if you want to buy on a monthly basis some etf or stocks and you don't want to day trade or anything go with the trading 212 Research on both of these platforms. Trading ideas, user friendly. Yes, Trading 212, if you will have mobile application, will give you ideas to what you could invest to. But also, you get like Reddit investing or Wall Street bets. So I would recommend reading that. Definitely, Wall Street bets, if you want to invest to options, there are plenty of crazy people that you can make a lot of money. <laughs> Another thing, customer service. Okay, so there is this on this side that the customer service is better on the Giro. But in my opinion, when I wrote to Trading 212 in Sunday, in Sunday, listen to this, they replied to me in three hours. In Sunday. What the hell is that, right? So that's pretty good. And I like it. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. And another thing I don't actually like, I love when you can have demo account. I like it because you can test your trades you can get familiar with the platform or like really get to know everything how much fees you're gonna pay right but if you don't have the op option to have demo account i don't like it so this is why i like trading 212 more uh comparing it to the gyro because you can have demo account 
and actually test everything, how much fees you're gonna pay, etc. Then we got a safety here. Again, safety on the Giro, it, it might be safer because you get covered up to $20,000 or Euro. So that's pretty much it. And yeah. So to summarize everything what I just said, if you want to invest, I don't know, to options, to funds, to bonds, or even day trade, I would po probably choose the Giro. But if you want to buy on monthly basis trading 212 and also buy stocks or ETF, I would choose trading only because you're gonna, not going to pay any fees. But just be careful, guys. If you're going to invest, if you're from the Europe and if you're going to invest to uh, to US markets, you're always going to pay conversion fee. It doesn't matter what kind of platform you're in. So you always have to compare what kind of fees you're going to pay for, uh, on a conversion fee. So if I would... The gear charges 0.1 of the acquisition value of the current spot rate. So yeah, just really be careful. Always check if you're going to invest to ETF. Check for European ETF. And there are plenty of good ETFs here. So I really like the Vanek here, but I'm not going to invest to it possibly. And also I really like the iShares, but the Vanguard is really good here. Definitely check it out, I will show you. And look at this. This is all world ETF. And you're going to see like the most technology companies up to Google, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon. And like the personal funds is really good that if one company is going to bankrupt, it's not going to really influence your ETF fund. So it's just up to you which one you actually choose. Like that's pretty much it. So thank you, everybody. If you have any questions or if you have any opinions or any advice on this video, write it down below in the comments. I'll be really happy. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.